Grace Kids. It's Cheeky Robot again. Welcome back to Grace Kids TV. It's so great to be joining you again today. In today's Bible story, we will learn about Zephaniah warning God's people to repent. The people of Judah rebuilt the temple in Jerusalem under King Joash. While the priest Jehoiada was alive, the people worshipped God. However, when Jehoiada died, King Joash and the people of Judah turned away from God and turned to idols. God sent prophets, including Isaiah, to warn the people of his judgment and ask them to repent. God was patient and merciful with the people of Judah, but he also warned them that their sin would bring his judgment. In today's Bible story, another prophet named Zephaniah was sent from God to tell the people to repent. But, before we get to today's story, let's head over to Grace Kids Trivia to see what you remember from last week's story about Isaiah warning of God's judgment. Good luck! Question 1. True or false? Isaiah was a prophet. And the answer is... True. This was true. And do you remember what a prophet was? A prophet was someone God would use to deliver his messages to other people. You may remember from last week's lesson about Isaiah having a vision, which was kind of like a dream while he was awake. And that leads us to our second question of the day. Question 2. True or false? In Isaiah's vision, he saw that God would punish people who were guilty because they had turned away from God and worshipped idols and false gods. And the answer is... True! This was true. Isaiah said that God was going to judge the people of Judah and the neighbors of Judah as well. Judah's enemy, the Babylonians, would take over the city. Isaiah told God's people to repent, or turn away from their sin, and turn back to God. Question 3. True or false? In Isaiah's vision, he saw that the people immediately repented and obeyed God. And the answer is... False! Unfortunately, this was not true. Instead, Isaiah saw that the people ignored God's warning. He saw people eating and drinking in the streets as if they did not care about God's warning at all. Isaiah warned the people that they would be punished for their sin, but he also brought a message of hope. And that leads us to our next question of the day. Question 4. True or false? God's people would be captured by the Babylonians, but one day they would be set free. And the answer is... True! This was true. God wanted his people to listen and obey. He wanted what was best for them. God would judge their sin for his glory and for their good. Isaiah said, when you escape from Babylon, go tell what God has done for you. And our final question of the day, question five, true or false? A bigger day of judgment is coming when God will judge sin one last time. And the answer is true. This is true. And the good news for us is that Jesus came to rescue sinners. Everyone who repents from sin and trusts in Jesus will be safe from judgment and have life with him forever. I'm Megan and I am Jessie. We were just playing with Play-Doh. I made a snake and I made a snowman. Do you like to make things with Play-Doh? Megan, wouldn't it be cool if my snake came to life and slithered away? That would be cool. It's fun to imagine, but these creations aren't alive. We made them, but they aren't alive and they don't have any power or abilities. You know, that actually reminds me of today's Bible story. Is it about snakes? Actually, it's about people who created things called idols and worshipped them. Uh-oh. 
uh-oh is right. The Bible says that we are to worship God alone. Here's today's story. Isaiah was a prophet who lived long ago in the time when Israel was ruled by kings. Do you know what the name Isaiah means? It means the Lord saves. God chose Isaiah to tell his people a very important message. This was the word of the Lord, the message from God that Isaiah the prophet spoke to the family of Jacob. Isaiah said, listen Israel, this is what the Lord, the King of Israel says, I am the one true God. Isaiah said that only God can say what will happen in the future. No one else knows. God said, do not be surprised or afraid. I told you this long ago, there is no God but me. God said, everyone who makes idols thinks their idols will help them, but they don't. Idols have no power. One worker uses iron, shaping it over coals with a hammer. The worker gets hungry, thirsty, and tired. Another worker uses wood, measuring it and shaping it with a chisel. He makes an idol in a shape he thinks up on his own. People look to their idols to save them, but iron and wood cannot save. This is God's message to the people of Israel. Remember these words. I will never forget about you. Do not worship created things. I am your creator and I have taken away your sins. Turn back to me. Rejoice! This is what I have done for you. Sing and shout, for through you the Lord, the one true God, is shown to be worthy of worship. We are to worship only God. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and save us from our sins. We can turn from our sin and celebrate because God saves. For our craft today, all that you're going to need is a black piece of construction paper and a piece of white chalk. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this craft. Are you ready? Okay, first you're going to fold the piece of construction paper in half. And this way you can have it stand on the table. And I'm going to show you why. So on the first side, you're going to draw some clouds. I want to make the clouds sad, so I'm going to draw some sad faces in the clouds. And this side of the paper represents God's anger for when the people did not listen and obey him. This is the sad side. And then the other side, you're going to flip it over. I'm actually going to open it so I don't smudge that side. On this side, you're going to draw yourself worshiping God, or you could draw yourself singing to God, praying, anything that shows that you are in a relationship with God. So this side shows me singing with my hands raised. Then as your teacher retells the story, you can stand your paper up 
and show which side represents the part of the story that they are reading. So as you make this craft and you draw the two different sides of the paper, you can use it to stand it up on the table. So as your teacher is reading the story, you can flip it around to show which side is most appropriate for that part of the story. And we always want to remember that this story leads us to the big question of what is repentance? Repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. One day God will make all bad things good. God will fix the broken things and make them new. What an amazing story that we learned today. I hope that you enjoy making this craft and retelling the story together. Thanks so much for watching Grace Kids TV. Have a wonderful week.